Alright, what's going on everyone? So recently the team over at Wobbyjs released a brand new extension called Council Ninja. This extension allows you to output console.log output and runtime errors directly in your editor. Basically, it's like having the browser DevTools console tab output directly inside of VS Code. Now, not only does this give you readouts for your console log directly beside where it's being executed, it also has a logs tab which is really handy. I'm not sure about you, but I'm always using the console tab and the ability to now have this directly inside my editor has really been a game changer. When I first saw this extension, I was a bit skeptical. However, I did want to give it a go. After a few days of using this, I really ended up liking how it changed my workflow. With that being said, in this video, I want to show you how to get set up with Console Ninja and a couple examples of using it with a simple HTML, CSS, and JavaScript application, and also using Vue. As of right now, this extension is pretty new, so you could run into some bugs and potential changes in the future if you're watching this video at a later time, but for the most part, I haven't ran into many problems while using it. So first off, you're going to want to install this extension by searching up Console Ninja. It's by Wallby.js and has this pretty cool logo, so it's hard to miss. With that installed, let's begin trying this out using a traditional vanilla JavaScript application. Now, Console Ninja is pretty smart, and for most tools like Vite and Webpack, it's already pre-enabled. However, for Live Server, it's not actually enabled by default. To enable this, you'll want to go to your settings and then search up Console Ninja. If you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see all the tools that it's enabled for and we're just going to want to select the box for live server. You might also need to restart your editor to get this to work after enabling this setting. Now in the bottom of your editor, you're going to see this Ninja section with an initial icon of pause. If you click on that, it'll provide you a few actions to select from. To start this extension, you're going to want to select Start Console Ninja. And then let's also open up our index.html file with live server. Now in the app.js file, let's look at a very simple example. What I'm doing is just targeting the body and listening for a click. Each time that we have a click, we're just going to log out to the console hello. So in the application, let's click around a few times and as you can see, directly beside the console.log statement, we're going to see our result of hello. To take this a step further, something very common I do is log out the event to get a specific property. So let's log out to the console the event with the E parameter. For something like this, we're going to get a huge result and honestly, this isn't very readable in its current format. Another awesome feature to this extension is the console output log tab. To open this, you can either select the ninja section at the bottom and choose show output, or you can just click on the ninja icon in the top right hand corner here. Now, when we log out this event, we're able to expand this and navigate through it within this tab. You're also able to search through this using the search tool in VS Code. I have noticed an issue where this does not appear to be working when using Live Server. However, it does seem to work when I tested it out using Vue. Also, to clear everything inside of the Log tab, you can click on this X icon to remove all the logs. Now, these are all very simple use cases, but the point is that this extension makes it super handy to get all these readouts directly in our editor instead of having to open up the console tab within the dev tools. All right, let's take a look at this extension while using Vue. You can also use it for other front end frameworks like Nux and even React. You can even see a list of all the supported tools this extension has back in the settings that we configured earlier. So what I've got here is a stock view application. If we hover over the Ninja section at the bottom, we're able to see that Council Ninja is smart enough to detect that we're actually using a Vite powered app. So let's begin by spinning up our view application using npm run dev. Once we do that, the icon is going to update to a watch and it's going to let us know that it's ready and just waiting. Within the app.view file, I've went ahead and already declared a variable of count and a function to increase it along with some template items to handle displaying our count value and running the function. Now within this function, let's just log out to the console the count variable. Each time that this updates, as you can see, it's going to spit out that result directly beside the console.log statement. This extension is also super helpful when making API requests. I have went ahead and created a new function that will make a request to dummy JSON to obtain some fake users. And maybe I want to see what the response of this API is, so let's log out to the console the response and then run our function. 
As you can see, we're going to get all the data listed directly here within the editor. So no longer do we have to sift through this in our browser dev tools, we can do it directly here within VS Code. Now oftentimes when developing applications, we all make mistakes or errors can occur. Well, Console Ninja is pretty smart and catches these mistakes really nicely. For example, let's say I want to log out this variable of counts that I think I created. Now clearly I know I haven't created this, but let's see how Console Ninja handles things. As soon as I save this, you can see we're going to get an error in line saying that counts was not defined. This also works if we come down to the template and for example, maybe we only want to output this tag displaying the count if the length of count is greater than 1. For the sake of this actually airing out, let's change the initial value to null. And then directly beside the tag, we're going to see that error. This is great since normally if you'd have any errors, you'd have to go to your application, open the dev tools, and then you would see that error. So Console Ninja just speeds up the process of finding these issues. Now the best part about the error handling with this extension is the ability to direct us to the exact location of the error within the editor itself. If we open up the log tab, we're going to see the same error we've seen inline and then the file that it is occurring in. If we click on that error, it'll open up the file and put your cursor on the exact line that the error is occurring, which can be really helpful when it comes to troubleshooting, especially in larger applications. Now, not only does Console Ninja work on the client side with tools like vanilla JavaScript or Vue, you can even use it on the server side with Node, which is pretty awesome. And again, to see all the tools that you can use this extension with, you can find a list of those in the settings. Alright, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on this extension. As I mentioned earlier, I've been using it for the past few days and think it's been super helpful to improving my workflow. Anyways, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like on it down below. And if you are new here, be sure to subscribe for more web development content. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.